My Selfridges package just arrived on the doorstep. I'm still not sure if this is available actually on the website. It was very strange how you had to order this one. So let's go ahead and open this up. One of the things I ordered was the new Natural Enhancing Complexion Balm SPF 30, I think. I think I may have picked the wrong color. Let's take a look. This is the shade 40. I should have picked up the shade deeper, but I got really confused, but we can swatch it anyway. So there is the swatch. I actually went for a lighter shade because I thought this one looked brighter and it reminded me a little bit of Cream by Shantikai, the Future Skin. And that one I can go lighter because it's more sheer. So actually let me swatch that for you as well as the Chanel number one. Okay, so this is interesting. It dried down a little bit deeper. I don't know if you noticed that, but it does have an olive tone in it. This is the Hermes right here, the first one. So now I feel like maybe it won't be too light, but it's definitely doesn't have that peachiness that I thought I was gonna get in this color. So I think seeing other swatches of other people's colors that they pick up is gonna be really important here because I'm afraid that's gonna be a little too olivey for me. The second shade here is Shantikai's Future Skin in Cream. So you can see how really peachy that is. So this is the Shantikai Future Skin in Cream. Very well loved. Then we have the number one to Chanel in BD41 as that third shade. And again, you can see that brightness present in the Chanel that is not present in the Hermes. The last shade I'm comparing to is the Chanel Ultra Laton, and this is in BD41 as well. So we're gonna see how this goes because now it doesn't look too light. It just looks really olive compared to the other tones that I have here. Also, the finish looks more matte than the other ones. The other ones have a bit of a glow. We're gonna have to see it on the face as well. Then we have two powders. We have a Radiant Glow Powder and a Radiant Matte Powder. Let's see, how do I open this? Oh, that's beautiful. I just flipped it over. That's beautiful. And it just slides open like this. Looks very similar to the blush packaging. I know some people really like the Hermes packaging, some people do not. I like it, I like the gold and white together, but it does have like a lightweight feel to it. And there's plastic on top as well. Okay, that looks, that looks really shimmery from here. Unlike the foundation balm, this one has that beautiful tone that I wish that the foundation had. Actually, let me show you them side by side. So you can see here, the difference between the foundation balm and the powder. The tones are very different. Okay, that reminds me of a highlighter. So I think it's called a Radiant Glow Powder, but already I think I would use it more like a highlighter. It's more highlightery than powdery, I'm gonna say, but we'll try it, see how it goes. And you know how much I love a good powder. This is Radiant Matte. We've been seeing a lot of that description lately. So really, I think the most curious about this one. Same minimalist type of packaging. This is gonna be interesting. It kind of is reminding me a little bit of the NARS powder. I think it was a press translucent. Correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like there was a press version. I know there was a loose version of it, but it was white like this. That's my only experience, I think, with any powders that look similar to this. Now this one had a really interesting texture about it. Very creamy. Reminds me a little bit of the way that the Chantecai Perfect Blur Powder feels. So we'll see how this looks, but it definitely looks like it has a white cast about it so we're definitely gonna try this out and see how it looks on my skin tone yeah it doesn't feel like that nars powder that i described earlier it just looks like it feels more creamy though and then just for fun i swatched a couple of hourglass powders next to it just to see really how different they were they are more powdery than this glow powder so this right here is dim light by hourglass 
This is the Hermes Glow Powder, and this is Radiant Light by Hourglass. So yeah, that definitely looks more like a highlighter to me. I got really curious about this highlighter or glow powder that I was trying to get a handle on really how it compares with other powders with some glow in them versus highlighters. So I have a few here to compare with. So the first shade on the left here is the Hermes powder. And it does have like, I'm seeing some intermittent shimmer in there. The next one is a Guerlain product. I don't know if you remember this one. It was limited edition. I didn't use it much, but it's really beautiful. It's this one right here. But I thought it would be the same level of shimmer, but it has a softer amount of glow in it compared to the Hermes. Then for the third powder, it's the Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow. It has a bit of a sheen to it, but nothing near the same. Let me move this out of the way. But this does not have the same level of glow. Hermes still is more glowy. And then you can see I've got two shades here, a peachy shade and a champagne shade. Those are both Chantecai highlighters. This one comes from the Manta Ray palette, if you remember that one, the highlighter. And this one comes from the Whale Shark. So you can see those are definitely more glowy. The last one has a beautiful sheen to it. I actually need to take that out to use it more. It's by Chantecai as well. It's this one, if you are familiar with it. And this is the inside of it. I just wanted to give you a bit of reference for this product in terms of its level of glow. Not as glowy as the Chantecai highlighters, but definitely more glowy than some of the powders here with glow in them. There are all the swatches, and as always, I'm gonna go ahead and edit and post this, and while this is up, I'm going to be filming the Get Ready With Me. So I'll be trying on the foundation balm and both powders, and I'll get a look together, and let me know if there are any other comparisons so I can include them at the end of that video. So make sure you are subscribed because I'm sure this is posting at a really strange time, and the next one will be coming out hopefully tomorrow. So make sure you are subscribed and you hit the notification bell if you wanna see that one right away. But that is it for today's video, so please take care of each other, stay well if you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.